espresso also. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to do a nail painting video. Um, not because it was requested, but because I simply like nail painting videos and I wanted to try this angle of the camera. And I used the same light source again as I used in my uh, dishwashing video because I uh, understood that a lot of people liked that light source. So I hope that you can enjoy this video while I'm going to paint my nails. And this is going to be my last video with this microphone probably because I bought a microphone that is from like a really good quality so that I can also film or actually record by normal and I get that microphone tomorrow so I'll probably need a little bit of time to figure out how uh, how it works because it it's actually not a microphone but it's a, a camcorder um, once I figured it out, I'm definitely going to do binaural videos as well. But for now, let's get started with um, opening this bottle. I use it. It's just um, um, nail polish that you can see right through to strengthen your nails. It's long lasting. So take a little bit of this. Move it aside a little bit. time since I uh, took my nails. Normally I never do that. Um, but today I was in a really good mood to paint my nails, to make them a little bit more shiny. And I just wanted to tell you guys about my new microphone because I'm really, really excited if I have to be honest. The thing that I like about this nail polish is that you don't have to like use a lot to get a good result to make it shiny. And you're not stuck with like one specific color. Most of the time when I do use colors I I use pink or red like really deep pink. I think that I did that. Um, that I was wearing that pink nail polish in one of my videos. Can't remember which one though. But yeah. And in the video of Queen of Serene, the hand contest video, I had the red nail polish. But today I just decided to keep it Plain and simple. And for those of you who didn't know already, last weekend I visited Wolfberry Whisper and Evie Whispers in Belgium. And that was really cool. We made a video uh, together. And 
you have to cut some pieces out, but as soon as it's ready, I will upload it for you guys. You can look at it 24 hours because I, before I publish it on YouTube on my website. So yeah, let me move that little bottle to the other side, and now I'm going to do my right hand, and that's pretty much, for me, a big challenge, <laughs> because I'm right-handed, and um, I might get a little bit shaky, so I apologize if I do. Let me start with this one. start to shake a little bit. The good thing about it is um, this color is that if you shake a little bit you don't see um, if it's not on your nail so that's a good thing. <laughs> oh, I might have to use a little bit more for this one. So if you want to see uh, pictures of Wolfberry Whisper and Eerie Whispers, you can go to my Facebook page. You can find me under the Water Whispers, or you can follow the link on my website, and then you can see our pictures. And yesterday was um, Sunday, and I went to Amsterdam to meet S.G. Collins for the third time. He's also a part of the Whisper community. If you didn't check him out yet, um, he is a official movie maker, film, film producer, and he made some pretty good videos. Um, and he's just a really fun guy to hang around with. I just love that guy. He's really down to earth, and funny and um, really wise man in my opinion. So yesterday we went to Amsterdam and we had a couple of drinks at an Irish bar. And they actually had an Irish live band of about, started with about eight or nine people I guess and they ended up with more people, like 15 people. And it was really amazing because I love Irish music. It always makes me really happy. So that's what I did yesterday evening. And today I ordered a new microphone. Because I really want to... Well, basically record in better quality if I get the chance. So yeah. to wait until my nails are dry. That's always the hard part for me. <laughs> I'm just um, not really a curly girl. I never, most of the time, I never use makeup. Only when I go out, which is not very often. And for nail polish, the same story. But I noticed that um, just like a couple of you noticed as well, is that my nails became pretty long. I had to cut them a couple of days ago, but as you can see, they're uh, pretty long at the moment. And I absolutely don't do anything about them. And um, I also wanted to answer a couple of questions. Because it happens all the time that I get emails from people who ask me like, what do you do to make your skin so smooth? Like my face. If I have to be honest, um, 
I don't do anything about it and probably um, the only thing that that I do is to, I try to eat healthy like uh, enough vegetables, enough protein, not too many carbs and uh, yeah I just eat a lot of uh, like almond nuts and that kind of stuff like walnuts as well and a lot of uh, fruit, also dried fruit like figs and that's basically the only thing that I do and um, I don't know why my nails are growing that fast and why the edge is like perfectly white even though I didn't do anything about it and why my hair is so shiny but apparently I'm just healthy <laughs> I guess and just wanted to let you know that I don't use foundation, makeup, thing. Um, this is just me <laughs> and I don't do anything specific about it to look like this. I just get up in the morning and brush my hair, brush my teeth, look in the mirror and that's it. And then I'm having breakfast. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this little nail session video and me rambling a little bit. And I hope that I can start filming with uh, my new microphone soon. So I'm really excited about that. And as soon as I have my microphone and I know how it works, I will post it on my website. And soon after that, you can expect a video. So for now, have a good evening, or a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.